The battery in the BMW E46 models is located in the right side of the trunk behind a trim panel. When replacing your battery, be sure to use a high quality unit. Replacing the battery can be done in a short amount of time. Read the battery connection notes before disconnecting the battery. If you own a convertible E46, you require a different battery than the standard model. Convertible model batteries are designed to tolerate the vibrations and movements due to the convertible chassis design. Before disconnecting your battery, remove the key from the vehicle and store it in a safe place and note any of your radio presets. When a battery is reconnected or loses its charge, the following items may need attention depending on how your vehicle is equipped. You may have to reset your clock, enter radio presets, and initialize the power windows and sunroof. Charging your battery. You can connect a battery charger directly to the battery or under the hood at the positive and negative grounding points junction. The battery junctions are located at the right front strut tower, located in the green circle. However, I suggest removing the battery from the vehicle when charging. This will avoid filling your trunk with gases the battery emits during charging. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on setting and using the battery charger. Jump starting your vehicle. A vehicle with a discharged battery can be jump started using a good battery or a good battery in another vehicle. When jump starting, be sure to work in a well ventilated area. Batteries can produce an explosive gas, wear gloves and eye protection, and if battery acid comes in contact with your skin, immediately flush the area with water and seek medical attention. When jump starting your car off another vehicle, Move both vehicles close together, but do not allow them to touch. Turn the ignition off in both vehicles. Connect one end of the positive jumper cable to the positive battery terminal of the vehicle with the good battery. Connect the other end of the positive jumper cable to the positive junction terminal, indicated by the red arrow, in the vehicle with the discharged battery. You will have to flip open the lid on the positive junction connection. Connect one end of the negative cable to the negative battery terminal of the vehicle with the good battery. Connect the other end of the negative jumper cable to the negative junction terminal indicated by the yellow arrow of the vehicle with the discharged battery. Start the engine on the vehicle with the good battery. Allow it to idle and then raise the engine RPM to 2000. Next, start the engine of the vehicle with the discharged battery. Once the vehicle with the discharged battery starts, shut off any and all electrical accessories, radio, HVAC blower, etc. Carefully disconnect the jumper cable in the reverse order that you connected them. Allow the vehicle with the dead battery to idle to recharge the battery. Replacing the battery. Working in the trunk, lift the carpet up and suspend it using the attached hook on the rear trunk opening. It's indicated by the yellow arrow. Disengage the battery trim cover by twisting the clips 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then remove the battery cover from the vehicle. Remove the battery fasteners indicated by the green arrows and remove the bracket. Using a ratchet and a 10 mm socket, disconnect the negative battery cable, green arrow, and then disconnect the positive battery cable, red arrow. Move the negative cable aside and make sure it cannot accidentally come in contact with the battery terminal while you are working. Disconnect the battery vent hose and lay it aside, indicated by the yellow arrow. Lift the battery up and remove it from the trunk. Be careful and make sure you have a good grip. The battery is quite heavy. Clean the battery compartment thoroughly. Clean any corrosion from the battery cable's ends, if present, before installing the new battery Check that the battery vent line is not pinched, it's in good condition, and it is properly routed. Replace the vent line if needed. Install the battery in the compartment and attach the vent line. Connect the positive cable first, then connect the negative cable. Install the battery bracket, then reassemble the trim cover and the trunk carpet. 